Logan the Layman Critic here. Today's review is for The Predator. It's from 2018 and directed by Shane Black. It stars Boyd Holbrook, Olivia Munn, and Sterling K. Brown. Let's talk movies. While on a mission, Army Ranger Quinn McKenna witnesses a spaceship crash. He has a close encounter with the Predator and steals some of the alien's gear. He ships it to a P.O. box to avoid it being tracked to him, but it accidentally ends up in the hands of his estranged wife and child. And while this is all going on, an evolutionary biologist is being recruited by a government agency to offer input on their recent capture, the Predator himself. But the Predator ha has his own mysterious plans. Initially, I wasn't all that enthused about there being another Predator film. I'm not huge into the series. I like the original. Uh, it's not my favorite Arnold flick, but it's a well-made action film. Second movie's okay. AVP films were missed opportunities. Uh, Predators, that one... Uh, it made some noteworthy additions to the universe, but I think it's otherwise pretty forgettable. So, all in all, not much of a fan. I prefer the Alien series, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but when I learned that Shane Black was directing and co-writing this new film, my interest was piqued. Uh, he's a good screenwriter, and he has an established history with the series, having played Hawkins in the original. That's my cat. <laughs> you hush. Uh, the Predator is quite a bit different from its predecessors. There's always been sort of a formula to follow, and this movie breaks from it considerably. Uh, very little of the plot has to do with the Predator hunting a human. It relies primarily on a MacGuffin in the form of the Predator's technology. We're also given more information on the Predator species. Not enough to ruin their mystique, mind you, just enough to get you more interested. Um, among this information is a conflict within the species, and this already existed in the last movie Predators, but there's more to it than a simple blood feud. It has greater implications, which I won't spoil. I mentioned that Shane Black is a great screenwriter, and together with Fred Decker, this movie definitely reflects that. The dialogue's sharp, it's sharp and quite witty and funny at times, and the action is executed well, and obviously a huge part of that can be attributed to Black's direction as well as the strength of the cast. While I don't think that the original's talent can never be topped, uh, pretty much every character here is fully realized and defined. The one exception is Elfie Allen's character, Lynch, of the gang of the heroes, I guess. Uh, he gets the least amount of screen time, so we never get the chance to invest in him at all. Boyd Holbrook's irreverent charm uh, carries over from his work on Logan, though his character in this is a sort of a photo negative from that one. Uh, he successfully carries the film with his performance. It's believable that the other guys become willing to follow him into battle. Olivia Munn uh, balances intellect and resourcefulness. Uh, her strength is in her knowledge, but she's not incapable of picking up a gun and joining a firefight. To the film's credit, this is one of the most successful instances of a strong female in an action film. In recent, in recent years, there's been a push for more heroines in the genre, but it's often contrived and preachy. I'm not opposed to female protagonists. Uh, you can check some of my anime reviews if you don't believe me. But they need to highlight the feminine strength rather than being interchangeable with a male action hero. They also shouldn't be depicted in such a way that it suddenly makes every guy looked, look inept or incompetent. Uh, condescension isn't empowerment. Uh, good examples to follow uh, would be the Alien series. First two Terminator films, Ghost in the Shell, Evangelion. Uh, then we have the bad guy, uh, Traeger. Sterling K. Brown, he does his sh share of scenery chewing, but it's never hammy. He's obsessed, he's crafty, he's arrogant and cold-blooded. And he does it all while coming across as jovial. It's, it works. Uh, he's really the villain of the film, not the Predator, I would say. Um, and speaking of, uh, the design still looks great. From what I could tell, it's nearly all practical effects with maybe a bit of CG enhancement here and there. Uh, I think the rival Predator uh, is all CG. And he's huge! He's a nasty dude. And he's got even nastier weaponry. And they've got these 
like the like dog like creatures and the big predator uh uses them for his hunting and they're pretty cool looking too um there were dogs in the last movie dog like aliens i should say uh but they don't bear any resemblance to those um they're actually a lot bigger and uh i think i prefer these ones so yeah i enjoyed the predator quite a bit uh it's a worthy sequel and adds some much needed life to the franchise so go check it out thanks for watching